real quick sound check if you can hear my voice go ahead and type yes in the chat window and uh we will be rocking and rolling if you can hear my voice go ahead and type yes in the chat window and we will be rocking and rolling i just want to confirm and do a real quick sound check also i want to make sure that you guys can see my screen as well um, um so before we get started where are you guys um calling in from and again i Yep, there you go. Okay. Yep, where are you guys calling in from? Um, all right. So we have Texas in the house. Man, we've had people from Texas every week. People from Texas are really fired up about this. Uh, where are you guys calling in from? They're, oh, Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I am, ATL. <laughs> Even though I'm from Louisiana, I still rep Louisiana, but I am in Atlanta, so I'm a transplant. Uh, what is this? Tennessee. Hey, Tennessee is in the house. All right. California. What part of California? San Diego. Okay, there you go. San Diego, California is in the house. All right. We have uh, Alpharetta. Alpharetta is in the building. Who else do we have here? Who else do we have? Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Yep, yeah, we have a lot of Atlanta. Dallas, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Okay. New Orleans, Louisiana. Who that? Obviously, I'm a true Blue Who that fan. All right, so enough of my rambling. Um, first of all, I want to welcome you guys out to tonight's training. Um, we're going to talk about webinars, right? And that's kind of the, the hot button topic. So everybody wants to know how they can use their expertise to teach and train other people. So I'm going to share with you my expertise uh, in webinars, how I've been successful over the last uh, year independently, but then prior to independently, over 20 years, just in technology and in, you know, uh, doing webinars and corporate trainings and things like that. So um, we'll get a, a, a lot into what I have done with the webinar system and the system that I've created to help other people succeed. And yes, I've seen success in the in the process. All right. So who am I? Who am I? I am AJ. Um, real quick, if you're on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at AJ Joiner. AJ Joiner. I do. Um, I will reply. We'll, we'll be chatting live tonight. So go ahead and follow me at AJ Joiner on Instagram. Um, so I participated and produced over 400 webinars and and as a result, I've seen uh, well over you know five to ten thousand people on webinars. Um, well, I would say maybe yeah, about five to ten thousand actually. Um, now that does include webinars that I did during corporate America, so all of these don't count as it relates to what I'm doing with webinars now. Uh, but webinars have been my thing, and and what I have done now is I've created systems uh, to help other people teach their followers or to teach people who are interested and what it is that you're an expert in. That is what we're, what we're here for tonight. Um, right now, you're looking at the screen. If you can see my screen, these are just a handful of my clients, definitely not all of my clients, but I have a couple of Emmy Award winners and Trister and, and um, uh, what's her name? Sherry Shepard. She's actually not on the slide, but Sherry Shepard from The View, uh, former client, Nicole Garner, who's a huge PR. Um, what's this lady's name? Claudia Jordan. Claudia Jordan from the Housewives. Um, Egypt Sharad. She's my current client. Egypt uh, Ebony Still. Um, Shanti Daz. All these people are hugely influential in their marketplace, uh, and I have worked with them uh, in the capacity of helping them, um, helping them grow their brand uh, and actually make money um, creating webinars. All right, so. Um, what, I, what I'm here to do tonight is not to just brag on me and AJ and blah, 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 but I definitely want to help you guys uh, understand how you can take your expertise. Um, hey, Terika, um, help you understand how you can take your expertise, turn it into a webinar, and then teach other people, all right? So really quickly before we get started, this is the brief, very brief bio. Um, I know you guys don't care, but just really quickly, I've, over 20 years in technology, um, I was able to walk away from corporate America after 20 years last year. Um, I was chosen as the top three of 500 entrepreneurs. That was a, a lot of fun. It was a huge competition uh, that was held across the country. Uh, and I was selected as one of the top three um, for my uh, my business ideas and my, my <laughs> entrepreneur savvy, if that's what they want to call it. Uh, I am currently a private technology advisor for um, some celebrity uh, um, clients. Uh, I, I know that that really doesn't matter, but it just helps for, you know, to say that I have worked to help people who are successful uh, understand this new platform. Well, it's new to them, webinars, right? Uh, and I was also selected out of um, 100 entrepreneurs to go to NASDAQ 
uh, and get a chance to ring the bell. Uh, that was back in 2012. So I was selected there. So just a couple things that I've had, you know, successes, just a handful that I want to share with you guys, just so you can know, okay, well, who the hell is this guy and why is he talking to me and what gives him the right? Gives him the right. Who does he think he is? <laughs> all right. All right. So let's keep it moving. So today, um, again, um, and some of you guys have been on, I definitely appreciate you coming back out tonight. But today I'm going to prove to you that in the next two years, mark my words, webinars will become the number one way to market to your audience and generate sales of at least $1,000. And when I say audience, I mean um, nationwide audience as it relates to, excuse me, as it relates to two-way communication. All right. So again, you there are other ways. And I actually think face to face events are um, an even better way. But there's no real way that you can scale face to face events. Right. You, it's either going to be costly for the people who organize the event. Um, well, it's always costly for the organizers and it's always costly for the attendees. Right. Especially if you don't live in the same city. Right. So if you want to get together and see some of these um, people who were on the previous slides, um, you know, they reached the nationwide audience while they were sitting at home. You can't you just can't do that with a with a in-person seminar. So while I do think in-person seminars is great for networking and putting a name to a face, webinars is definitely right up there. And not only is it right up there, um, but webinars is quickly becoming the, the way to communicate of choice because of the cost savings. So we'll get more into that later. But I just want to let you guys know that webinars is is definitely on the horizon. All right. So let's keep it moving. And this is the quote back that I found back in the beginning of this year. Online training known as e-learning and webinars is booming. And, and that it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is definitely booming. Uh, and it's it was estimated. Now, this was in January to hit one hundred and seven billion by twenty fifth by the end of 2015. Well, it already has surpassed 107 billion. Um, it is definitely the hot hand right now as it relates to the way people are want to learn. And I know there are universities out there now that do um, extended learning and all the courses are recorded uh, via live webinars. Right. So, again, you definitely want to get ahead of the curve. Uh, and again, before this is over, I want to share to you share with you how I made over thirty two hundred dollars on a single webinar in less than two hours. Um, in a very niche market and um, how you guys can too. All right. So question, and this is a question for you guys. Um, I want you to feel free to chime into the chat window because I can see what you guys are typing. So here's what I want to know from you guys. Why are webinars obliterating competition when it comes to connecting with your audience and sales and business? Now, I mentioned some of this earlier, but go ahead and type in the chat window and tell me why you think webinars are on the horizon as it relates to a way to communicate with your audience. And just a quick hint, I have already mentioned some of these ways, but go ahead and type. And I want this to be interactive, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to just get on here and blah, 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 and bore you guys to death. I want you to type in, you know, what you think. OK, so why is it that webinars are the hot thing right now? All right. So, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You can do them from home. Um, yep, great answer. People can log in from remote locations. Um, yes, you can connect one on one when in different geographical areas. Absolutely. Um, cost effective. Yes, they are cost effective. Uh, anything else uh, before I keep it moving? Those are all great answers. So let's talk about that. Number one, home sweet home. Oh, here's another one. Webinars are convenient and not as expensive as traveling to a class. Absolutely right, Tony. Great, great answer. Tony from Alpharetta is in the building. <laughs> All right. So you hit the nail on the head. You don't have to travel. Right. So, I, again, we have people here from Texas, North Carolina, uh, Louisiana, San Diego, California, San Antonio, um, Alpharetta, can't forget Alpharetta, and a lot of people here from Atlanta. And guess what? You guys are all right now either at home or in a coffee shop or you are somewhere that is convenient for you. Right. So that is point number one. You don't have to travel. Point number two, dancing with the stars. So here's here's the beautiful thing about webinars is you get to choreograph the entire thing and you can practice it. So I've been doing this training series now for a few weeks. So 
imagine, you know, how many times I've done this. I understand what my transition points are. I know my talking points. It's because this entire thing is choreographed. I have a message that I want to communicate to you guys, and I can lead you down a particular path. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the exact same thing that you can do. So imagine um, right now, imagine if you are a um, if you're a real estate broker and you have a um, well, I'll tell you what, tell me what you guys are. Tell me your expertise so that I can actually speak to the expertise. Go ahead and type in the chat window um, what your expertise is, and I will speak to that expertise. But anyway, back to my point, you choreograph the entire thing. Yes, go ahead and type it in the chat window what your expertise is. OK, yeah. So, yes, you get to choreograph the entire thing. Number three, it's a friendly obstacle course. And what does that mean? So you guys that are on the webinar, there are several things that you had to do tonight to get to this webinar. Uh, number one, you had to somehow I don't know how you found out about it. I've done Facebook and Twitter ads. I posted on Instagram a few times, um, but you had to sign up and register at the website. Uh, number two, you had to open the email that was sent to you saying, hey, thank you so much for, for signing up. Then tonight you had to open up your email again and figure out which link to click to get onto this webinar Four, you had to actually click the link and log in. And now you're actually sitting in front of your computer listening. So it's a friendly obstacle course. Um, and by people that navigate that obstacle course to get to the webinar, it's because they want to learn something. So what do you have to teach? Um, and what can you provide value in? What area can you provide value? And then you take the people who are interested through a very friendly, friendly obstacle course. And by the end, they know that, you know, you know, and they know that it's something that they want. So again, here it is. You had to click the ad, you had to sign up, you had to open the email, register, and you had to log in. Those are just a few of the things that people have to do to, to prove their love. <laughs> All right. So yeah, go ahead and type what you, what you guys are doing. All right, what is another thing that webinars do? Well, webinars position you as an expert. Can someone tell me how webinars position you as an expert? So if you guys have something to teach, tell me at least one way that webinars position you as an expert. You're the person on the virtual stage, absolutely. And I think that right there is the biggest thing. Um, you are the person, you right now meaning me, but you as in the people who have um, jo joined this call, you're the expert at what it is that you do, right? So remember, you, you've created your content, you've taken your people to the friendly obstacle course, and now they're here listening to you. So imagine you know, yourself doing what I'm doing right now, but to an audience full of people who are interested in what you do. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of webinars, all right? So great answer. Um, a couple different things you can do. Um, you can teach. Um, you can coach. I've done I've done group coaching sessions uh, on webinars and you have real time interaction right now. I'm actually talking to you guys, but you can talk. You can open the chat window up and you can talk right back to me. Right. So. So, again, it there's a two way um, interaction. And I'll tell you what this I'm just going to do this really quickly. Um, Nikki Price, Nikki Price, if you can hear me, um, just type yes in the chat window. Nikki, if you can hear me. I'm going to unmute your microphone um, just to show the two-way interaction. Let's see here. All right, Nikki Price, are you there? Hey, Nikki, can you hear me? Uh, let's see, I've unmuted your microphone. Nikki, go ahead and talk if you can hear me. And maybe you don't have a, a microphone on, but I tell you what, I'm going to mute your microphone. Anyway, best case scenario, let's try let's try someone else. Um, hey, Tony, can you hear me? Hey, Tony. Uh oh, here's the background noise. Um, anyway, but back to the point, um, webinars are definitely a way that you can have two way interaction. And that's between the host um, and the people on the call. And as you guys can see, uh, even though it sound, looks like Nikki's mic may have been muted tonight and Tony um, had some background noise, but you can definitely unmute your attendees and you can talk to them real time. Right. So another huge bonus for, for webinars. So what are the what are the ways that the campaigns that you have to have to fill a webinar? There are a couple different campaigns and we're going to go over some of those tonight. All right. So number one is the sign up campaign. And I like to call this. Um, the registration process. So you have to create some sort of a registration page 
so that people can go and sign up, right? So that is the sign up con the sign up process. Um, next after the sign up process, you have the short process, and the short process goes like this: once people sign up, you send them an email reminder saying, "Hey, thank you so much. You confirm their their sign up. Thank you so much for signing up. Really look forward to teaching you." these three different things on this webinar, you know, Monday after next, um, I'm so happy that you joined. So you send them an email, then you want to send them one the night before, like, hey guys, tomorrow night it's going down, meet me on the webinar, <laughs> it's going down. Day of, you want to send out an email saying, hey, tonight is the night that I'm going to make you a webinar king or queen. And then an hour before, you also want to send out a reminder. And the reason why you send these reminders is people get busy. Right. So people are busy just in their everyday life. So you want to make sure that you take the time in your webinar training to send people uh, exactly what they need so that they attend your webinar. So the three campaigns are the sign up, the show up and the follow up. All right. So the best days for webinars and this trend follows traditional training, um, the best days for traditional training and actually posting on social media uh, with the exception of Instagram Friday nights. Um, is actually the highest traffic amount, but the best time to post then it's been tracked is Tuesday morning if you want the most um, feedback or the most likes. So Tuesday morning, uh, early mornings when people are getting ready to get their Tuesday started because they've gotten, you know, Monday, everybody has a case of the Mondays, but Tuesday morning, Tuesday is when, um, Tuesday is when people are really paying attention and they're really dialed in, right? So if you're going to have a webinar, the best night is Monday night. I'm sorry, Tuesday night. Second best night is Wednesday. And the last or the least net with less night out of the three is Thursday. Now, the other days, um, uh, Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are definitely viable. Um, but, you you know, if you want the highest overall attendance, you want to go ahead and try to do that on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Okay. So again, um, welcome, uh, Renice. You, you joined us. Hey, <laughs> I knew you said you were coming on late. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, but anyway, so yeah, the best, the best nights are for the webinars are going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right. Best practices. So let's talk about webinar marketing strategies. Well, number one, uh, you want to market your webinar for two to three weeks before you actually have it. Uh, and in my case, I've broken some of the rules, I know, because I, I, you know how it is when you know how to do something for a while, you start to bend and break the rules. Well, when you're first starting out and you're building yourself as an authority and you're building your brand and you're trying to figure out, you know, who loves you and why, and you're creating your courses and you're creating your webinars for your people, you want to follow this as, as strictly or as closely as possible. You want to start webin your, uh, marketing your webinar two to three weeks in advance and the first email that you send out is kind of a, hey, guys, hey, listen, if you're interested in starting a killer blog that's going to grow to over, you know, 100,000 people in the first two years and you're going to make, you know, $10,000 a month by the first year in, then I have a training. I have just the training for you. Go ahead and sign up and I'm going to teach you how to set up your blog, um, how to get over to WordPress technical obstacles. Um, how to buy your domain and redirect your, your domain and how to set up a newsletter and a, and a feedback loop for your customers. So, again, it's just about reaching out to, to whoever, whoever, excuse me, whoever your people are and letting them know that you are ready to get started. Week number two, um, this is where you want to go and start talking about the content. You want, hey, guys, here's some of the things that you should do when you're considering starting a blog. Number one, you want to find your niche. Uh, number two. You want to find out, you know, where those people are located and who's actually engaging the most. And number three, you want to provide value to those people who are the most engaged on your webinars. Right. So that's week two. You want to go ahead and provide, um, you know, a little content around what it is that you're teaching. Week number three is all about getting the people on the call. Hey, guys, webinars coming up in, in two days. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <laughs> go ahead and sign up for the webinar. You know. Oh, guys, tomorrow night is the night. Um, that's week three. You want to everything in week three is focused on getting people onto the call. So those are the three best practices um, for uh, marketing your webinar. OK, so what I'm going to share with you guys now is my very best, absolute best webinar that I've ever done. It's over thirty two hundred dollars and it was just before Christmas last year. So it's man, time has flown. 
but it's almost been a year now. Now, when I say this has been my best webinar, this was my solo webinar where I sold my product. I've definitely done better uh, in some of the partnerships that I've had with some people that I mentioned earlier. I think that was slide two or slide three. Um, I've definitely, you know, we've done upwards of uh, 10000 even $15,000 on a webinar um, just because we were really dialed in on the audience and we were able to get a lot of people on who were interested in, in the, the subject matter. All right. So again, this is my best webinar. This is last year. Um, this is what you see on the screen is a screenshot. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a screenshot from a training that I did last year. Uh, this training was on, and this is a real screenshot. This training was on how to write a book, write and publish, I'm sorry, a book in 30 days. It's my course that I created last year, had a huge turnout. Um, I did have, you know, did a huge marketing campaign, a huge push. I had a bunch of my affiliates send out that campaign to their colleagues and their friends send it out. So I had a huge, huge sign up. Uh, and out of the people who signed up, I had a ton of people actually buy through the course and a lot of them were successful in writing and publishing their book. All right. So again, this is just a snapshot. Um, I did, this was broken up into a couple different ways. There was a self, the self study class um, was a little bit less than the full, the full on training. Uh, then we had the full on training plus coaching, which was a little bit more um, than the regular class. So I had three different levels um, at that time. But again, this is just an example of what you guys can do. So I want you to look at this and understand that if you can figure out a way to provide value, this can be you. And that was, again, uh, the wife and I, uh, when I left corporate America, the wife and I really, it was a tough transition because, you know, I was making a, a decent salary. I was in the six figures, mid six figures, nothing crazy. Um, but when I left, everything was now on me and on her. So again you know her thing was okay dude you're doing this like we need to make this happen and i had several failed attempts before i got there remember i started doing this on my own last year in august and before that i think i made a uh da -da 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 -da. i think i made twenty one hundred dollars but it was for a three hundred dollar product and i ended up only selling seven or eight of them i think after paypal fees and everything i may have made twenty one or twenty three hundred dollars so I and, and I remember the very first webinar I did, I sold zero and I had over 100 people on the webinar. Right. And I was offering a product. Nobody bought it. Right. So imagine that, you know, the, the ego <laughs> damage uh, that happened. But I was able to keep trying and keep testing and I was able to overcome and have the success. So what is it that you need to accomplish something similar? Um, so what you need to do is figure out your expertise. And again, here's a question I'm going to ask. And we had actually four or five people just join late. Could you go ahead and type in the chat window what your expertise is, whether you're joining late or not? Um, everybody, if you would right now, just type in the chat window what your area of expertise is. And I'm going to choose one of those and we're going to talk about that. So number one, choose your area of ex blogging. OK, yep, we'll go with blogging. Uh, what is your area of expertise? If it's blogging, let, let's just use that as an example. So you are a blogger. So I know for a fact that blogging is a huge market of people who want to learn how to blog. Even, you know, I've been blogging since the late 90s before it was even called blogging. Um, but there's still a huge market of people who are like, hey, I want to figure this blogging thing out. So is there a market for whatever it is that you're doing? Is there a real market? Or is this a market that you think that, that, hey, man, if I create this, people are going to come, right? I think the best way to position yourself as an expert is to fill a need that is already out there, right? Fill a need that's already out there. And, oh, that's a that's a, a great one. Uh, professional hair care. Um, is that administrator? Professional hair care instructor? Excellent. So, so yeah. So is there a big enough market for professional hair care instructors? Absolutely, there is. Absolutely, there is. And there is for bloggers as well. Um, so, yes, you're an educator. Sorry, professional hair care educator. So you're teaching people about hair care. Yes, there is a huge market for that. Um, are there buyers? Absolutely. Right. So if you're good at something and there's a market and those market that marketplace is willing to spend money for you to teach them what you know, then you just struck gold. Seriously, you struggle. So 
Uh, it's not it's not hard, um, but I think the challenge is most people are just afraid of some of the technical stuff. But my advice is once you understand and you know your market, then it's time to move, right? Because, the, you know, I, <laughs> I know in the Bible it says the race is not given to the swift, but to those who endure to the end, that's cool. You know, that's cool in church. You know what I'm saying? But if you're in business, then you need to move, right? You want to be, I know being first to marketplace isn't always the best, but you definitely want to be, you know, on the forefront of, of that cutting edge so that when people um, associate things, they can say, you know what, uh, Renice is the person, she does her classes online. And I literally logged in from the class while I was at home on my computer. And she taught me everything I needed to know about, you know, what kind of chemicals keep burning my hair out and why my edges tow up. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever whatever it is, you want to be that person that's educating them. Now, you don't have to use a slideshow like I'm doing right now. Uh, there are definitely other ways to do it. Um, uh, let's see. And, and, and I'll get to some of that in a minute. There are other ways uh, that you can share your expertise without doing the slideshow thing that I'm doing right now. So, again, you want to move fast. Create your course. I'm going to show you guys really quickly a very quick way that you can create a course. If you guys would just give me a, a, a yes and you can do videos. As a matter of fact, this is being recorded right now. So this video will be available. Um, but let me show you guys something real quick. And I'm going to go with um, hair educator. Okay. So, yeah. Is there any anybody else on? I, I, I'm sticking with, with Renice because I know she said, sent me an email earlier saying that she was going to be a little late. So I wanted to. Is that okay with you guys? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. So, Renice, you're a hair care educator. If you give me just a minute here, I'm going to show you. Um, let's see. I'm going to show you a real quick and dirty way how you can create your course. And I want you guys to watch this as I walk through this. And this is, again, this is how I've showed several people and some of my other clients how you can create your course just like that. So what is a book, can, Renice, if you would, or anybody on the call, if you know anything about hair care education, what is something that people want to learn about hair care education? Hair care, Kindle, let's see. Guys, what is something that women want to know about hair care? I don't, I mean, I have locks, so what is it that I want to know about hair care? Uh, I want to know who who does. Let's see the right products for natural hair. OK. All right. So now we're in. Um, if you watch my screen, we're going to do hair care. For black women, hair care for black women. And I, and, and I'm sorry if you guys aren't African-American. That's the I'm, I'm an African-American man. So I hear my mom and my sister talk about this all the time. So so I'm not discriminating. I'm just using this as an example. All right. Don't shoot the messenger. This is for everybody. You can do it in your niche, too. All right. So let's let's go ahead and go Black Hair 101. Right. So this is a Kindle book and it says Black Hair Care on a Budget by Clara Taylor. All right. And Clara has eight reviews. So um, I love the illustration in front of her book. So let's build our course based on what Clara is talking about. All right. So, again, I love the illustration. So table of contents, African-American hair types, specialized hair care tips, washing African-American hair, hairstyles for African-American hair, dealing with hair loss, embracing your national national embracing your natural hair. So, again, think about this, um, ladies and gentlemen on the call. This what you're looking at represents six modules for a course. Right. So. I could contact Clara right now if I were if I were Renice, um, I could put together a course that's loosely based on this. You don't want to copy, but I can say, you know what? I'm going to create a six week course to teach African American women about hair care. And week one, we're going to talk about all the different types of hair. You got kinky, and you got what's the stuff called? Remy, 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 um, Remy, uh, and you know what I'm saying the other kinds of hair like the straight. Curly, kinky, uh, natural, um, coarse, nappy, straight, uh, wavy, all the different kinds of hair. And then you can say, OK, so let's talk about hair care tips for each kind. There you go. Brazilian. Right. So 
there you go. So now let's talk about specialized hair care tips. What are some hair care tips for Brazilian hair? Well, if you have Brazilian hair and you have a, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the stuff my wife talks about, one C, one B's. If you got a one B, and I think that's like, that's the one B. If you have a one B, then this is the way, what it matches. I don't know. But, but again, if you guys understand, if you guys understand what I'm doing here, just type yes. I'm, I should have chose something different because I'm not a hair person. <laughs> so I'm really struggling with the hair thing. <laughs> but, but you guys get it, right? So you can very easily find something that's already out there. It's already done, right? So why reinvent the wheel? Why reinvent the wheel? Why go and say, oh, I got to come up with something from scratch? No, don't do that. That is one thing I know as an IT person is you never reinvent the wheel. When Microsoft built Microsoft Office in 1995, they're still using a lot of the same stuff right now in 2015. 20 years later, right? They didn't totally reinvent it. They're like, you know what? This works. Let's make it better. So if you have someone who has something out there, make something better. If you, can you guys still see my screen? Let me know if you can still see my hair, my screen. <laughs> see if you can see my... Uh, look at that. I just typed in African-American and the first things that came up was hairstyles, flag, wigs, and culture. So out of the uh, two out of the top four searches have to do with hair. So if you're in hair care, there are definitely people out searching, right? So then beautiful brown girls online. And I guess what? If I go to this link, I guarantee, oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> They're taking a break. Um, but um, so there are people out there who are actively looking um, who are actively looking for stuff. Um, what about topics on being a motivational, inspirational expert? Wouldn't you suggest that someone use their own material from scratch? So, Renice, yes. Yes and no, right? So you, you want to look at people who are successful, right? So, again, this, is, this comes from years of, of doing it. Yes, you want to use your own stuff, but African-American hair ain't new. Like, there's nothing you can say about African-American hair that nobody hasn't said before. I don't think so. I mean, maybe there is. Maybe you figure something out. And, and I'm, I'm not even being funny. I'm just saying, think about and answer. Tell me if there is, Renice, if there's something that you can say right now that nobody has ever heard about African-American hair. Can you type it in the chat window? Because I would really love to see it. And I want to Google it, too. So so I guess so to answer your question, yes and no. And what I mean by that is yes. And that you want to put your own spin on what's already out there. Right. Because, again, there's nothing, nothing, nothing new under the sun at all. Um, and so, yes, look, look at what's working for people and then iterate on it, build on it. Right. Um, let's see. What about topics for motivational, inspirational um, expert? Um, this is from Nikki Price. OK, so let's let's look up motivational inspiration. Uh, let's use the same. I'm going to use the same premise. Uh, let's go search for what's out there. Um, now, um, here's a question for you, Nikki. So is this just motivation and inspiration overall, or is this motivation and inspiration for a specific niche? Like, who are you trying to reach? Are you just trying to inspire everybody, kids, grownups, adults, black, white, um, Chinese, Asian? Like, who is your demographic? Women mainly teach self-worth. Okay. So you want to teach self-worth to women. Is there just all women? Is it Asian women, Australian women, um, women from New Zealand, Canadian women, African-American women, um, Caucasian women? Who, who is your target audience? And again, you have to narrow it down some because it's not. There we go. We see we're getting better. Now, here's what I would say. There we go. See, now you're getting somewhere. And, and for those of you, I know you guys can't see it. Let me read what she's typing. So she wants first she started out with women, mainly women. Right. But then what did she do? She niched it down and said, you know what? Let me reach millennials. Right. So. Um, and then she said, you know what? I'm going to narrow it down again. Um, 18 to 34. So that gives me a very tight audience of people that I'm trying to reach. And that's the same thing that you want to do when you create your course, because when I first started, 
my first book was called Instagram Marketing on Fire. And I wrote it literally after Instagram came out. <laughs> I think I wrote it before um, Facebook bought Instagram. I didn't even, I mean, I had literally just opened an account and I went through and figured out, man, this would be great to use for marketing. Um, and I wrote down all the things that I thought would work on Instagram for marketing. Right. And I, but then I was like, okay, well, I, I did sell a lot of that book. And let me, let me see if I can show that to you guys since we're here. Hold on. All right. So here's my book, Instagram Marketing on Fire. Uh, 52 comments. Uh, and yeah. It, I got a lot of five stars, but I did get a couple. It's funny how the two stars and the three stars always stick out the best. But anyway. So, yeah, so I went and wrote it and I said, OK, well, this is cool. But then guess what I did? I went and I wrote Instagram marketing on fire for restaurants, right, for for caterers, bakeries and restaurants. And I didn't have as many reviews because I wasn't really pushing for reviews. But guess what? This book sold a lot of copies, uh, even though they didn't leave reviews. I, they sold a lot of copies because it was specific to restaurants and caterers and bakeries, right? So when you create whatever it is that your product is, you wanna go, go ahead and create it. And then I did another one for hair salons, right? And again, this has one half, one four star review. But anyway, yeah, you wanna niche this down um, as far as you can. So no matter what it is that you're teaching, you want to be, you want to be specific to a person, right? So find out, you know, what it is that you want to teach about and then niche it all the way down. So, again, you want to figure out what's working. Well, first of all, let me take a step back, figure out your expertise. And I'm, I'm rambling on a little bit tonight, guys, but I just want to drive the point home that everyone on this call, you're on this call because you're an expert in something. Right. The only thing you need to figure out is how can you niche it down to a specific person or group of people? And then how can you create this webinar so you can start teaching people and profiting and helping other people profit? I think that's the biggest thing. Like if you can help people figure out how to make money on their own, then you are on to something. Right. So think about that when you're creating your webinars. How can I help others help themselves? Right. That is my primary. Like that's the reason why I sing like I, this is definitely my comfort zone is because I know that I can help you guys reach your goal and I want you guys to ask yourselves the same questions. Can you help someone else reach their goal? Renice, I already know the answer to your question because you are teaching about hair care. Yes, there are women. As we saw in my, when I typed my search up for African-American, um, look, when I type in hair care, products, tips, routines, salons for men, you can literally you can take the first five searches right here and you can create a product for I mean, you can create a course that breaks down each one of these module. Number one, let's talk about hair care products. Module number two, let's talk about hair care tips. Module number three, let's talk about hair care routines. Module number four, let's find some good hair care salons that I would recommend. And here's why I recommend them. And here's another crazy thing. Once you create a product. Um, I'll go back to my book. So. The reason this, well, the first book, let me go back to the other one. Someone actually, I didn't even know this. There was a lady, her name is um, Allie, Allie Rittenhouse, was on TV in Ohio. I got an email from Allie and she said, hey, I'm on the show. It was the equivalent to, for those of you in Atlanta, it was the equivalent to Good Day Atlanta, but it was for a show in Ohio, right? She emailed me the night before and this was right when Facebook brought, bought Instagram. She said, hey, found your book on uh, Amazon and I'm interested in talking about it tomorrow. You know, can you give us some tips and blah, 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 blah. So just because I had it out there, I was a featured guest on the show. Like, hey, we found Anthony Joyner. He's the author of Instagram Marketing on Fire, blah, 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 blah. Once you put it out there, people are going to you're going to be the expert. And if you guys remember, I right now I only have thirty four hundred followers on Instagram. There are people with millions and millions and hundreds of thousands and People get 3000 likes on a picture, but because I had something out there, I was chosen as the expert. Right. So, again, if you're an expert in something, get it out there. Get your course out there like, hey, uh, my name is Nikki and I teach a course. I'm, I'm I help um, millennials. Um, I help 
to help them with their self-worth um, by creating uh, inspirational I am quotes that are affirmations as well as inspiration to them every day. Uh, and if you go sign up right here at Nikki's I am quotes uh, you can sign up and every day you're going to get a quote. But I'm going to teach you if you sign up for my course, I'm going to teach you 10 ways that you can improve your self-esteem by having a, a daily practice. Or, you know, again, I'm going off the top of the dome. But if this guy, if this is making sense, guys, and I'm rambling too much, I got to get back to my training. But if this is making sense, just type I get it in the chat window. I just want to make sure everybody gets it before I move on. Does everybody get it? OK, cool. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me go back to the training. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead. Am I doing OK on time? At time is 945. I try to keep no longer than about an hour and um, an hour and 10 minutes. Um, but if you guys are enjoying this, I'll just keep going. And, you know, if, if you if you have to go, I'll tell you what, just send me an email and say, AJ, I had to drop off and I will um, I will make sure that you get what you need. But thank you guys so much for for bearing with me as I went down the path. So um, let's see. Let me go back to my. All right. So here we go. So what do you want to do? So you want to create a course and let people sign up. Right. So you want to create a uh, create your course. And once you create the course, sign them up, sign them up, set up a website. Um, you guys saw my website because you all signed up there. Go to the website, sign up, let them figure out how to register and be clear if you how many of you have actually been on a webinar before or before this how many of you have actually done a webinar yourself if you have actually done a webinar yourself just go ahead and type yes in the chat window if you have done a webinar yourself type yes in the chat window yes 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 um okay that's cool all right so how many of you have actually been successful in selling your product while you were on the webinar no, 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 no one bought. It was teaching only. It was for exposure. OK, good deal. And I agree with a lot of that. Sometimes you you definitely want to do webinars just to uh, get out an exposure brand. Right. I think that's a huge, huge use case for doing the webinars. All right. So I'm getting ready to wrap this thing up, guys. So type, go ahead and type in the chat window. If this has been helpful to you, type it is helpful and tell me. Um, if you have any other questions, go ahead and type your questions. If it's been helpful, just type helpful in the window. <laughs> yes, it's been helpful, AJ. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes, it's been helpful. Yes, if it's been helpful, just type helpful. Um, another question. Do you think that you can use webinars to grow your business? Can you see yourself uh, doing webinars? If you can just type, I can do webinars. If you can see yourself doing a webinar and teaching people your expertise, Type, I can do webinars in the chat window. Yes, you can do webinars. And I want you guys to tell me one more time, what is your level, what is your area of expertise? Just type it in the chat window. I just want to see. OK, we have, I know we have blogging. I know we have hair care. I know we have inspiration. Um, success coach. Absolutely. Um, blog, another blogger. Absolutely. And oh, yeah, here's another thing. There can't be too many courses on the same topic because you have your own way of delivering your training. Right. Um, oh, eyebrow eyelash extension, customer service for salons. Absolutely. I have a, a really good friend of mine. Her name is Joy Mebin. She's the look by Joy. She's we had a great time with her with her uh, webinar training. Great time. And now she travels around the country uh, doing it right. She teaches eyelash extensions. She teaches people how to do eyebrows. She owns a salon here in Atlanta, Georgia. So yes, everything that I'm seeing in the window is is a thumbs up. So yes, you guys can do them. Are there any other questions that I missed out on? Any other questions that you have? Is it possible to do live video demos or does everything need to be pre-recorded? Well, you're listening live right now. Like this is live in living color. Like, yes, I'm talking to you. I'm, I'll tell you what, we tried this earlier. I'm going to take you guys off your mic. I mean, uh, let me say that again. I'm going to unmute you, unmute your microphone um, just so that I can talk to you. Uh, I'm going to try this again. Um, Nikki, are you is your microphone working? I tried to unmute you earlier. Uh, it doesn't sound like your mic is working. Nikki, can you say hi? Sounds like you may be muted on your end. 
Uh, let's try Tony. Tony Davis. Tony, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Tony, how are Hello. you? <laughs> yes, can you hear me? I'm going to you. I can hear you. Oh, excellent. We can hear you as well. So, Tony, where are you calling in from, first of all? Um, I'm calling in from Alpharetta. You're calling in from Alpharetta? Georgia. So, first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time out to join this call. Um, how did you hear about this training? I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw a post on Instagram okay. for this particular webinar or, you know, actually, no, AJ, was a, an email, an email flyer. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. Um, so has this been helpful for you? Is, is, there, is there a question that you had when you started that has been answered? And if so, just tell me what it is. Yes, uh, the training has been extremely helpful. Um, I already do some training. I really enjoy doing that, but I'm interested in creating webinars so that I can have a greater reach. Sure. Um, so, yeah, the training has been great, and now I'm just really interested in how you actually go about setting it up, how, to, how you actually do it. Okay. Well, perfect. Well, again, um, is there a website that you want to tell everybody to just go check you out? And also, tell us your Instagram name so everybody can go follow you. Um, and I know some people are... I, I see. Okay. Yep. I'm not by my phone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just go ahead and say your Instagram name. I'm going to type it in the chat window so everybody can go follow you. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. My um, Instagram name is Eyebrow Lady and it's spelled I, B as in boy, R O W L A D as in dog Y, Eyebrow Lady. Is it the letter, the letter I or E Y E? It's the letter I. The letter I and then B-R-O-W-L-A-D-Y, one word. Sweet. All right. So, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and follow Tony um, on Instagram. She is the uh, at Eyebrow Lady, at Eyebrow Lady. All right, Tony, thank you so, yes, thank you. so much for calling in. I'm going to go ahead and put you back on mute. Is that okay? Okay, that's. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to keep moving right along, right through the training. Um, so are there any other questions? Now's your chance to fire away. Go ahead. The floor is open and it's all yours. All right. So here's some testimonials. And these are people that I've worked with. Some people are here locally in Atlanta. Um, this is Nicole Garner, really good friend of mine. Um, she now has the 100 female entrepreneurs. Uh, and we actually launched her initiative. Uh, via webinar. And she says, I, I really can vouch for AJ's webinar method. I was able to connect with over 550 new women entrepreneurs in two nights. If you're ready to push past your limits and a little nervousness in your gut, you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. 100 female entrepreneurs kicked off with webinars and we have grown every single day since the first webinar. And that's true. I actually work with Nicole a lot behind the scenes in the 100 female entrepreneur and she's doing amazing things. So be sure and check her out. Um, go to 100femaleentrepreneurs.com. She's also the owner of the Garner Circle, which is one of the bigger premier PR agencies um, for African-American entertainment. All right. So that's Nicole's testimonial. Christy Child, she is just fantastic. She's a life coach and she she uses webinars pretty much for every training that she does. She does webinars now. Um, let's see. If you're looking for a system to teach you how to market, reach your audience and make good money while doing it, you can't go wrong. Webinars are replacing seminars more and more. My very good friend, Rashawn Ali, I know I, I'm not saying good friend to name drop. These are these people have really become friends because we work so closely together. Rashawn is now a CNN port, um, headline news. She's an NFL sideline reporter and she's a former radio personality. And I remember she and I were working on a totally different project together. Um, I was advising her actually on how to make her book a bestseller. Um, and, she, you know, she started to talk about projects that she had on her radar for, um, you know, 2015 and beyond. And I suggested with um, webinars to her. And, and here's what she says. I'll ne never forget when AJ told me, Rashawn, why don't you just do a webinar? I was nervous at first, but I bit the bullet. Blah, blah, blah. My tongue just started working today. I was nervous at first, but I bit the bullet and the results speak for themselves. I doubled my email list and I was able to communicate to a nationwide audience of women and 
teach them all they wanted to know about radio. The system just flat out works. And that is Rashawn talking about the webinar system that I took her through. Jay Carter, he's another guy. He's local here to Atlanta. We did a webinar um, probably about a month ago now, um, a little bit over a month ago. Uh, and, and again, and we use the system. He, Jay, we, he literally came on and he just told everything he knew and how he was able to, to build um, the One Music Festival. And guys, if you're not familiar, go to onemusicfest.com. How he was able to build that from scratch as, as far as building the brand, uh, growing his audience, everything. How he was able to do that from scratch. Uh, he says, uh, my first webinar with AJ System he introduced me for the first five minutes. And that's true. I literally just introduced Jay. And all he did was hang out and answer questions. It was a huge Q&A. And Jay was on the call for two hours answering questions. Made a quick $800. It wasn't a ton of money. But again, just for answering questions about things that you know, people will pay you for your knowledge. If you don't take away anything else from this call tonight, take away the fact that people will pay you for your knowledge if you package it right. Right. People will pay you for your knowledge if you package it right. Um, Joy Mebin, um, Tony, Joy is actually a makeup artist here, uh, and she and I did a webinar back in, I think it was January, actually. Man, time flies. Webinars has not only changed her business, but her life as well, and she owns a salon. Uh, her first webinar, we, we did over 700 clients for her, 700 new email addresses for people who signed up for her training who were interested to learn how to um, eyebrows, uh, eyelashes, how to run the business, customer service. She actually was able to hire people. She had pe people actually not flew her out, but paid for her uh, when she went out to different cities teaching people how to do eyebrows, right? So she was one of my clients. And what she says is webinars not only changed my business, but my life. First webinar, I landed over 700 new clients who continue to purchase. And that's another thing. Once you get people's email address, they can be a customer for life. And I think Tony said that she may have seen an email or an Instagram post well, that's because somehow, some way, she was introduced to my funnel somewhere along the way, either through one of the webinars I did with other people or even my own webinars or Facebook marketing. And now Tony is on the call. So all these are just great ways uh, that you can grow your business. And what I want to do now is I want to introduce my system for teaching everybody how to do webinars. It's called Webinar Vana. So what is Webinar Vana? It is a six week training. Well, I'm literally going to teach you everything I know. So, Tony, to answer your question, I'm going to teach you everything I know about webinars. And this training came up, came about because so many people were asking me, like, hey, AJ, look, I know you do webinars for celebrities and I know you do this, but is there a way that I can do it or is there a way that we can partner or is there, you know, I want to do webinars, too. You know, I may not have a million followers or 100,000 or 10,000, but I want to do webinars because I can add value as well. Well, this is is specifically to answer that question. And I was hit up so many times that I just did it. I was like, OK, well, whatever. Let's just do it. So what are we going to teach you how to make your first thousand dollars doing webinars? Establish yourself as an industry expert. Increase your customer base. Host online regular workshops just like this one that you guys are on now and how to release a program. And when I say program, I mean a training program, whether it's webinar or even if you put together an audio book or audio course, like I can teach you how to do that in a matter of days, right? As a matter of fact, I just showed you literally tonight, you can take, you can get off the call right now and go create your outline right now and, and have your course ready by, what time is it? It's 10, yeah, but you can have your course ready by midnight if you really sat down and did it, right? So I'm going to teach you guys all of that. But not only that, I'm going to go further. So number one, week one, we're going to talk about your star and role. Three things that you must determine about your course before you get started. And we touched on that. Like, who is your audience? How can you niche down so that you can speak to a specific audience? Uh, number two, determine the, tr the purpose for your training. Is your webinar to educate? Is your webinar to sell? Uh, is your webinar just to spread, you know, the word about what it is that you're doing? Is it an awareness campaign? Like figure out what that purpose is uh, Four ways to quickly reveal your perfect topic. And I think everyone, the people who have actually chimed in tonight, they're pretty zeroed in on what you're going to be talking about. So that sounds like it's in the bag. Week two, the basics of a promotional calendar. And we talked about that a little bit tonight as well. Um, how to manage all the moving pieces and parts without pulling out your hair. Um, that is something it's, it's, a, it's definitely a balancing act, but. Once you've done two or three webinars, 
It is literally like a walk to the park. I'm doing this all by myself tonight, all right? Week three, how to create cue cards that work in designing your perfect presentation. So um, I don't need cue cards at this point because I'm familiar with webinars and I can pretty much wing it. Um, but in the beginning, you want to make sure you understand what you're talking about, why you're talking about it, and the value that it adds for the people that are on the webinar. Underline that if you wrote it down. You want to add value to the people that are signed up for your training. Who cares how much you know if it can't help anybody else? Nobody cares. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times we get on social media and we share our stuff and we're like, oh, yeah, cool. Look what I did. I did this. And, and of course, our friends do their, you know, mandatory double tap on Instagram and like on Facebook or retweet or whatever. But for the most part, people don't care unless it's something that affects them. So what can you create that affects other people and make it care to them? And then create your cue cards. The best way to warm up your audience, dealing with issues on the fly, design tips and tricks that anyone can apply. That's week three. Week four, 11 step program for the day before and the day of. So we're going to get everything that you need to do to prepare um, the day before, the day of, uh, how to keep your audience engaged and how to sell. That should be S-E-L-L, -L, but how to sell your product without being salesy. Right. So if you have something that offers value, you don't have to be a sleazy, cheesy salesperson like, oh, yeah, yeah, you go and buy this and whatever. No, create something that people need and tell them, tell them, hey, here's something that I created. If you need it, join me. If you don't need it, you know what? This is not for you. Keep it moving. You know, I love you anyway. I'm going to still update you when as new things happen. All right. So we're going to talk about that. How to sell without being salesy. Week five, where and how to do the video replay. Video replays. Um, are important. You can convert a lot of people just because you have a replay set up the right way. All right. Creating email follow ups. That's another big one. Um, if you're going to do surveys, the most effective way to, to surveys and getting more people to your replays. So that's again, it's another huge one. That's week five. So again, it's a six week training. Week six. Tools to build your back end. And this is what a lot of people get. This is where a lot of people get scared. Oh, man, I don't know how to code. I don't know how to set up a website. Oh, Lord, Jesus. I'm going to show you all that stuff, like literally walk you step by step through it so that you can ask questions and anything that you want to know. I'm going to show you everything, everything. All right. So how much is all this? This could definitely easily, easily, easily. I could sell this for a thousand dollars. And I know that and I'm not not really tripping off that. But here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make this affordable for everybody. Right. Hundred and ninety seven dollars or two payments of ninety nine dollars uh, for the six week course. And that comes out to less than fifty dollars a night. So think about that. Wait a minute. Is it fifty? Let's see. What is do the math for me? It's six weeks is two hundred dollars. So what is that? Sixty six, four, five times four is two hundred. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, actually less than it's like thirty five dollars a night. Right. Yes. Yeah, less than thirty five dollars a night. So think about that. For less than $35 a night, you're going to learn exactly what you need to know to set up your own webinar. And here's some other stuff I'm going to throw in, some bonuses. All right. So if you are an expert, how much would it increase your credibility if you could partner with other people who are experts? Like that is literally what can take you over the edge, right? So imagine, um, uh, Tony, you are an expert in eyebrows and, and makeup. And um, I think you were eyebrows and makeup. Uh, or beauty products, if I'm not mistaken. Um, imagine if you could partner with somebody like Joy or again, I don't know if you know her already, but imagine if you could partner with somebody who is already an expert or partner with somebody who has a book. Right. So, you you know, like we just did tonight, find somebody who has a book and say, you know what? I have this training and I would love to for you to come on and talk to my people about your book because that would really help them. Number one, most people love to talk about themselves. So it wouldn't be hard for you to find a published author in whatever your vertical is. And I'm talking to everybody on the call. It's not hard for you to find somebody that would be willing to come on and talk about what you want to talk about if you approach them the right way. So there's a very slippery salt because once you do stuff like this, everybody starts coming from you. I had a company contact me from Birmingham, a uh, tire company. And they're like, hey, we want you to come over here to Birmingham and, and teach our, our shop how to market these used tires on Instagram. Right. So, again, that's just because I had the book out there. So once you get stuff out there, people will find it if it adds value. All right. So that's the first bonus. How to find your how to find your um, 
how to find your expert in creating partnerships, overcoming objectives, because a lot of times you're going to have to persist. And I know you guys may not be as persistent as I as I can be sometimes. Sometimes I'm I'm uh, <laughs> very aggressive when it comes to me accomplishing what I want to accomplish. So I'm the kind of person that doesn't accept the no. However, if you're not that comfortable, I have some ways that you can work around it. And I'm going to give you guys a lot of those templates and I'm going to help you create a demand for yourself so that people will want to come and talk to you like that's like I literally was contacted by a school system um, here in Atlanta for you guys who aren't in the city. Um, Clayton County school system, they're now wanting to do a digital training. So they've contacted me and they're like, hey, look, we have budget. Here's our budget. We want to do, you know, we want to do four one hour webinars. How much will you charge to do it? Well, guess what? I'm I'm going to charge them. You know what I'm saying? Like they have budget, but none of that would have happened had I not gotten myself out there and just started doing it. Right. So as, if you're sitting on the fence and you're like, oh, I don't know. Oh, you know, whatever. Think about investing in yourself and, and, and getting yourself out there because nothing happens if nothing happens. So if you get off the call right now and you don't do anything else, then guess what? A year from right now, you're going to be still sitting there like, man, I could really be teaching people about, you know, this or that, but nothing has happened. Right. So anyway, so, yeah, keep, you know, get get out there and do it. So that's bonus number one. Bonus number two, I'm going to teach you guys how to advertise on Twitter. Now, I paid almost four hundred dollars for this and I'm going to teach you guys this free as part of this training. So for two hundred dollars, you're getting all those modules and you're getting these other trainings. Here's another one. I'm going to give you a fill in the blank template, the one that I've used with all my high, high end clients. And I'm going to give you not even two. I'm going to give you four. I think I think I have four or five that I've used now. So I'll probably give you guys five. And I actually charge if someone wants to buy those outright, I'll charge one hundred dollars for them. And I've had people pay me up, upwards of five hundred dollars for the, well, the Arthur Blank Foundation. I created a webinar um, layout for them and they gave me five hundred dollars to do it. I'm giving you this for free. But my regular market value is ninety seven bucks for that. All right. So again, here we go. Um, and I'm going to call it a night after this. If you want to go buy it, go to buy.webinarvana.com. Uh, go ahead and sign up for the course. Um, it starts next Monday night. It will all be recorded. Um, and, you know, if you missed the original course, that is a OK, because I'm going to be answering questions real time. Anything that you want to talk about, I'm yours for six weeks. I'm debating on starting a private group so that we can share our successes um, in the group and maybe support each other. So, again, one time payment of one ninety seven or two payments of ninety nine dollars. Um, and, and again, if you want to join, but for some reason you can't tonight, email me, email me. at You guys have my email address or you can email my assistant, Kim at Anthony And we'll figure out, you know, what it takes to get you started, to get you going. All right. Because, again, this is not necessarily all about the money. And the reason I charge is because when you don't charge people, they don't see the value. And I'm not talking about you guys specifically, because I know you would see the value anyway. Right. So um, let's see, Kim, I'm typing in the Anthony .com. I know you guys are going to see the value, um, but email email me there. That's the email address. Um, wait a minute. Let's, let's, let me type that again. Any questions or any questions, anything that I haven't talked about tonight? Um, so tell me, guys, has this been helpful? Can you see how webinars will help you? Um, anything you want to type in right now? I'm going to get ready to call it a night. We've been on a little bit over an hour, not too far. So I didn't do too bad. Um, well, first of all, I want you guys to just type. Give yourselves a round of applause just by typing clap in the chat window. <laughs> just type chat in the in the um, in the I mean, type clap in the chat window. If you have enjoyed this, give yourselves a round of applause. I tried to give you as much as I could tonight so that you guys could, you know, see how you can use webinars um, to grow your business. And and you guys do see that. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, but in the meantime, I want everybody that's on this call to go over to buy.webinarvana. I'm going to type it in now. Buy.webinarvana. N-A-R-V-A-N-A dot com. I think that's right. Buy that webinarvana.com and sign up. Like I said, we're starting Monday. After this, after this um, session, I will never, ever, ever again do this for $197 ever. Like this is going up because I know how much value this is going to add.
But again, I wanted to get my, you guys will be in my first class. So I want to get you guys to success so that I can hold each one of you up and say, look, they signed up for the course and it's on and popping, right? So they were able to change their business. They would have make some money. Um, so that I want to use you guys as a flagship class so that other people can sign up. So, so go ahead, go to buy.webinarvana.com, sign up, and I will talk to you guys Monday. Uh, are there any other questions before I close this down? Any other questions before I shut it down? Going once. Any other questions? Going twice. And I am gone. Thank you so much for joining, guys.